Okay, we're back. Next video. Uh, all the nodes have been commissioned in our new Maz 2.0. I'm uploading the video we did a couple minutes ago <laughs> uh, right now, so that'll be available for you guys soon. Uh, all the nodes look good. The Some of the counts look kind of funny. These are all dual core boxes as you've seen in the past. Uh, RAM's off. I mean, who has 5 gig? But anyway, uh, so the all in all looks good. So what do we need to do next? Uh, we're not going to go through and do any of this commissioning and decommissioning stuff. We know how to how this stuff works, uh, unless you want to. Let's um, see if OpenStack is available for install uh, without adding a repository. That would be the next logical step. And it is. Good deal. Let, let that go. Uh, we'll have to put Juju on. I'm anxious to see what version of uh, uh, OpenStack we actually get. I'm hoping it's uh, Mataka, the 13 dot. We'll see. Okay, let's put Juju on. Okay, it are, so you see some of this up here, I noticed, as it scrolled by, it already put Juju on there for us. Good deal. Don't have to do that anymore. Uh, let's see what kind of directory it made for us. .ssh. I don't know if this is going to be necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and make that YAML file that we use. And let's just make it. Might not need it, but I'm not sure. I don't know about the new version yet. And go get your code. Good. Paste that in there. Save it. Okay. What else do we need to do? Uh, hopefully Juju just says I'm not bootstrapped, right? Yeah, no bootstrap. So, because we don't have Wake on Land anymore, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to keep track of what nodes come up and down by the MAS GUI. What what nodes does OpenStack need to deploy, right? Uh, and these should go to deploying as it calls them, but they won't power up. So you'll have to power them up manually as they're in manual mode. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Let's try see if my documentation is still correct. Nope. So here is a Ask Ubuntu post. It says we need to conjure up. I've read about this conjure thing. But it says it's already installed. So now we we're gonna conjure up OpenStack. And look at that. So that got us where we needed to go. We it looks like we have some new options here. Uh, this is definitely the newest version. Uh, OpenStack. Mataka, that's awesome. 1604. This bundle deploys OpenStack Cloud with LX, to use LXD containers. Uh, OpenStack Autopilot canonical distribution. This is what we used before. I say we go Autopilot again. So 
so let's do autopilot. Connect to an existing MAS, yes. MAS server is at 10.1.1.100. I'm guessing this is the API key, maybe. And you guys help me out with this. You hit control and you can paste. It's cool. Error, MAS2 is not supported unless MAS2 feature flag is set. So this should be... and the API key. Got nothing. So it appears if you were to have to do this twice, uh, you have to get rid of a file. I found somebody online that seemed to be having the same problem, and it's saving a local YAML file for credentials. So let's go take a look at that. There we go. See these are all the times we tried. So we are going to get rid of that file. But also, let's try it again. And now, oh, we bootstrapped for a second. MAS2 is not supported unless MAS2 feature flag is set. Okay, and I think we found it. Let's try this. Now we'll remove that credentials file I already did and we'll conjure again autopilot connect to mass Grab the API key one more time. And we're bootstrapping. Now we get a new error. bad request so it's looking for trusty this page back here mentioned that he said he had to go into the config.json to get it to work
Yeah, it wants to use trusty instead of the new one for the autopilot. That's interesting. So we'll put that in there. Try. I'll have to delete that file again, that yellow file. Let's conjure again. again. Might have gone a little longer this time. Now what I was saying before with no uh, wake on land, uh, we're going to have to just watch and try to power these up. See it's trying to deploy that right now. Time out. if we don't get it powered up in time. So I'll pause and I'll go down and power it up. So we're still deploying and we haven't aired out yet. Still trying to bootstrap. Okay, and we got an error. Failed to bootstrap model. So it timed out. Okay. Let's go again. I'll have to be faster on the power up. Okay, so this time I'm in front of the cloud, so we'll hit confirm, let it do its thing, go back to mass. Still trying to do number two. So that makes us a little quicker on the power button. So we'll see if this works. So this time it completely froze up during the post bootstrap tasks. So we'll give another shot. Delete your yellow file. It knows about mass now. That's good. unable to locate credentials. I bet you there's a... it created that credential file. We should have left it this time. Oh well. So let's clean up from previous deploys. Let's release these two. Back to ready. Make sure they're both off physically off. So there's the list controller. Let's 
trying to get rid of it. So if something gets hung up and you can't uh, kill the controller, destroy the controller, or the model, uh, there's a local directory in here. And by the way, I, we don't need that .juju environment YAML file. It doesn't work that way anymore. So let's uh, get rid of that because it doesn't mean anything. Uh, and, but anyway, that local file... Uh, it's got a bunch of config files in it uh, that might be semi-helpful for troubleshooting, but not for me right now. So if, if you can't kill a controller, destroy a controller, delete this whole local uh, folder. It's gone. Now uh, come on. Done a lot more stuff lately. Okay, so list controllers. Now there's nothing there. So that that last run that we did is now gone. So all the machines are powered off. The controllers have been cleaned up. Uh, we're going to try the Conjure one more time. Interesting. Don't run it as root. Okay, bootstrapping again. We'll see what happens this time. So after this last try, we get these awesome errors. Uh, not sure what they mean yet, but we're going to try to troubleshoot them and figure it out. 